for the first time ever, we are setting foot here on Reventuli Coast in multiplayer. You guys know I love the unknown factor of multiplayer, you just never know what's around the next corner or over the next hill. But with the Reventuli Coast single player only diamond challenge, we had to stick to single player until we got all the diamonds exclusive to this map, and that took just about a year. So finally, we had this opportunity to head out in a multiplayer server, and we're going to see what we can find. Now, of course, one species that was a part of the single player challenge here on Reventuli Coast that no longer is, is the Eurasian Wigeon. They were added to Verhunga Savannah and therefore are no longer exclusive to this map, therefore it didn't really make sense to keep them a part of the challenge. That said, we still don't have a diamond for these, and I really want to get one, so the plan for at least part of today will be looking for these guys, and assuming that we end up joining multiple servers throughout the hunt, we'll be going down here to the southeastmost part of the map and just seeing if any cool vision show up. That one was a pretty high estimate, so we'll see what he ends up being, but still no level 3s as of yet. As for this guy though, our big level 2, an 859 score that's not bad, diamond is 905 for them, actually hit him right through the neck, and while I guess the ultimate goal of this hunt would be to find a diamond widgeon, we're going to be hunting far more than that, but because we're carrying this setup, we've got a bit of an interesting loadout, we're running with the drilling combo rifle, so we have the 9.3 obviously and the 16 gauge, we then have the 22250 as our kind of medium game rifle, and of course we have to have the 22 should a level 3 widgeon or some other kind of waterfowl show up in the distance. So one thing that's definitely going to be very different with this loadout is trying to use the 16 gauge from a double barrel instead of having 5 rounds to fire like in the 16 gauge from the Rancho DLC. Works fine here when we're shooting a single hazel grouse, but when it's for instance a flock of rock ptarmigan or willow ptarmigan, it's going to be a very different experience than what we're used to here. Now that is pretty cool. Got a little piebald whitetail buck over here. And this is kind of the other new side to our loadout here on Revenue to the Coast. With the 22250, taking out a white tail is going to be a bit of a different thing. And I'd kind of like to try to hard shot it, only because it's something we haven't attempted. But from what we've seen of this gun, it's got the capability. We just have to get the angle lined up. So we're going to move in, try to get to, say, 80, 90 meters, alert him so he faces us, and see if we can punch through the heart and... Honestly, if it insta-drops it or if it runs a little bit, that's got him alert around 100 out. Not really facing up as directly as I'd want. But I feel like that should have been in the right area. And it's not dropping him at all, so did that end up maybe short of the heart and not hitting either lung? Can't get him spotted this. He's not going down at all, so we'll probably need a follow-up. And maybe we gotta go broadside? I would think that it has the capability of doing it. Maybe we had to be closer? It's not gonna kill him, so we'll get a chance to, to get a follow-up, but that's kinda interesting. So finally, we're caught up with our pie ball. He's alert down there at 60 meters, but I don't wanna try any kind of like back in the next shot or, or heart shot this time. That broadside angle should be enough to get a lung. And I just wanna see what happened, cause like I said, I feel like the shot was on target. Maybe it's just not the best to do that for Whitetail with the 22250. Much different story broadside, because that brought him down immediately. But yeah, kind of between the lungs, had we been to one side or the other, it's past the front of the lungs. You could definitely get single lung frontal with a Whitetail. I don't know that a hard shot would be doable. Left lung was no issue, and honestly, plenty of penetration. I want to look at something, because I am not sure... Ammo stats wise, if the 223 or 22250 has better penetration, I'm certain though that you can hard shot a whitetail frontal with the 223. So, I mean, no time like the present. Maybe we finally do a little bit of 223 and 22250 comparison. Now, according to the actual ammo stats, the 22250 has 25 penetration and the 223 has 20. Now, I don't think the stats were changed when the 223 got a buff. So that may be the difference, but I'm pretty sure you could hard shot, you know, a whitetail deer with the 223 prior to that buff. So let's try this very kind of similar angle, probably even worse here. I think we'll still go for it, but we still gotta have him in a certain angle to do it. That had no problem seemingly punching through, and I would say 
It was a tougher angle, certainly, than what we took on the piebald. And just to compare penetration, I mean, we're well through the heart and into the left lung there, too. It's so interesting to see because we compared specifically with hog deer, like the quick kill from the 22250 to the 223. And I believe in every case, the 22250 had better quick kill. But clearly, at least based on that test, the 223 has far superior penetration. I guess they kind of each have a little niche depending on what you're hunting with them. You have to be kidding me. There's a level 5 Greylag Goose on this map. As you guys know, we spent forever trying to get one of these. And we have to be so careful. Like, we have to get this right. I want to let him get about as close as they will. I'm actually going to let him go over us and only shoot as he's flying beyond us. That kind of minimizes the amount of time we're wasting. We already hit him. Just got to keep an eye on him. And there is a chance, though a pretty low one now that he's hit, that he actually goes back into the migrating mode. And I think we would lose him forever if that happened. But keeping him spotted, dropping out of the sky. Do we have another diamond gray lag goose? We were trolled by these once. They can absolutely troll. But if our first hunt in multiplayer on this map produces a diamond gray lag, the thing that took us the longest, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I think it's the brown plumage type, which would be the same that we have our diamond of. And he is 3.92. I can't remember. The one we got was pretty big. This might be even bigger. What are the odds? Because multiplayer or single player, it wasn't just bad luck on our part in not getting one of these for a long time. They're just hard to come by. And that is the brown plumage type as well. We're 100% going to find a spot for that in the lodge as well. Compared to maybe some old Diamond Canada geese or other duck species, that is a considerably more rare diamond. And again, like our first hunt here, it was... All that time, grinding geese in single player on Remington League Coast, it was so tempting to just hit multiplayer and see if we could luck into it, but that would have completely gone against the spirit of the challenge, so imagine that. <laughs> the first time we try it, there's the diamond goose that we would have been looking for. And you know, the other thing that we spent forever on here, minus Tudra Bean Geese, would have been the raccoon dog. We were looking for a diamond raccoon dog for forever. That was like the slowest animation I've ever seen for them. I don't know if that was hit location or what caused that, but the real reason I even wanted to shoot that particular raccoon dog is I want to talk about what is, you know, still a kind of new harvest screen. I think it was with Emerald Coast where this kind of changed. Now the metal will sort of get covered when the chat comes up. So if we taxidermize this, the chat opens because it, when you taxidermize it, it shows up in the chat that you just harvested it. And it covers the metal and it really bothers me that we can't see like the score and stuff anymore so i hope they revert it i'll put our diamond raccoon dog harvest screen overlaid on this just so you can see where the metal used to be i don't know why they oh there we go there's the chat now covering it i don't know why they did that but i really feel like it takes away from multiplayer harvest and sort of the immediate hype of that's a diamond what's its score is hidden behind the chat so finally nearly two hours into this hunt we get to make use of the 9.3 from our drilling combo gun. We've got a level 3 bull moose out here. And I think broadside we're going to try this. I actually did punch through to the heart. Not too bad. So everything's working minus the 22.250 on whitetail. And the 9.3 is a potent round in Call of Wild. It is really, really solid. I think the biggest reason you don't see this gun used more is that maximum zero distance of 150 meters. And the fact that it's not a repeating rifle, so many things kind of leaning towards grinding at this stage. The more rounds you have, the better for things like that. But I think it was really Emerald Coast and the necessity of having a gun like that in loadouts that got me using it again. I think we're going to use it more. I really like it. And still peering into the skies every time Wigeon fly by, just in case. We have a level 3 here as well. Obviously, we had the timing gray lag. Wouldn't complain if a Wigeon showed up too, but, I mean, double lung and heart. I'm really gonna have to, because the 300 typically doesn't do that. Maybe it was luck, it could very well have been that perfect shot placement, because sometimes with the 300 or 338, you get that exact spot where you do hit double lung. 
I might have to play with that a little bit. It may be worth carrying on moose grinds for just certain angle shots. Maybe when there's just a solo bull standing there. Well, I wanted to try to find another bull moose to make more use of the 9.3. We're going to have to follow this, though. A max estimate raccoon dog track. Light brown and old on the track age. Which, they move so slowly, he's probably not terribly far away. But let's see, multiplayer produced one of the things that took us the longest to find. Can we end up with another? That's going to be him. Just a mythical, so nothing too crazy to worry about shot-wise here. I think he's going to cut to the right, and let's still cross over that water. Because typically they run right down the edge of the water, but if he's going to cross it, we'll just try to position ourselves better to get a broadside shot. We might as well at least attempt to get the gold on him. But as I said, they don't move that fast, so we can better position ourselves as long as there's no major obstacles like a hill. And maybe when he passes through there, we can get him with the 223. I'm not 100% sure that that wasn't like an intestine shot. Maybe liver? Blood looks just fine from here. I guess I am used to the 243 for these, but I thought he'd go down a little faster than that. It was. An 8.43, so lower end mythical for sure. But not bad, and always seeing those max weight tracks, I bet in all that time we spent looking for one in single player, we had 10, 12 max estimate tracks, not very many, so always gonna follow those just in case. This is just becoming a hunt of tracking things down. A max estimate mountain hare track now. Kinda like the Grey Lag Goose and the Raccoon Dog. Things that just don't come around very often. Let's go ahead and switch over the drilling combo gun to the shotgun. And we've got just now tracks. It's got to be right here somewhere. And as really all rabbits in the game tend to do, it's eventually just going to slow down and we'll end up catching up to it. That's it there. It is a level 2. And I think the estimate of 4 to 5 is normal. I'm not sure why this didn't end up loaded. It might be because we swapped servers. See if we can get that shot. That'll bring it down. And I don't even know if there's a chance for a level 2 Diamond Mountain here, but gonna be a good scoring one either way. And as we kind of keep on looking for a decent sized moose, another solid little kill here. 5.15 is lower end for the max estimate. Of course, 5.6 is diamond. Hit it with two pellets at 48 meters. We were 0 for 25, so not a huge surprise, but a lot of heavy tracks around here. So one final moose today, a level four, which should be a guaranteed gold. I think this rack has a really tiny chance of not being a gold. Swap back to the 9.3 barrel, right around 150 meters again. I want to see what this does, because it's a weird angle. I find that that's tough to do with the 300. And again, we really are going to have to consider that, because of course, in the pretty near future, we're going to get back to moose grinding. So I really want to make sure that I just kind of keep that in the back of my mind. Like, solo moose, weird angles, maybe the 9.3 should be in our loadout because, I mean, we've shot thousands. And can we make that shot with the 300? I think so. I'm pretty sure we've done it. But more often than not, it seems to end up as a lung shot and not a heart shot. And just to drive the point home, let's see what it actually ended up doing in total. Single lung and heart, which at the angle is to be expected. Punching through to double lung, that would be insane. What is he at? 205, I think that says, underneath the chat. Not a bad size moose to wrap up, but let's go back to the trophy lodge. We have another diamond gray leg to place, and I want to see if it actually outscores the one that we did get in single player. So I had to go into the trophy manager to actually check, because both of our diamond gray lags were 3.9. But if we go to this plaque here, we've got our 3.93 diamond from today, and back on June 2nd, are 3.94 from single player. So single player diamond does end up being bigger. We'll put him kind of back on the wall how we had it. And there is a spot back here that I think ends up being a good animal to replace with our new diamond gray lag. We actually just had an old brown hybrid Canada goose. I think it was 7.7 .7 gold score. And when we shot it, they were more of an uncommon, but even still, there's such a common thing now. We've got, I think, two brown hybrid diamonds. Rather than having that, a diamond gray lag is a cooler thing, I think, to have on the wall. So, cool little addition there. I really like this room as well. We never come in here anymore, so good to make that change. And honestly, good to have a hunt on Revan Coast 
in multiplayer, and it ends up producing a little rare whitetail and a diamond gray lag goose, one of the more rare diamonds, as far as I'm aware, in the entire game. But we'll have to do that again sometime in the future, maybe spend a little more time, even though we did today hunting for a Eurasian widgeon. But that was fun, and probably the longest we've ever gone without hunting multiplayer on any new map. Finally, here in July of 2023, we get to do it. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.